here with Marty Music. Now we're going to break down the song Numb by Linkin Park. But real quick, some of you may not know this, but besides doing YouTube guitar lessons all the time, I do actually write my own music. And I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by DistroKid. Now DistroKid is my favorite service to use when wanting to get my original music out there for the world to listen, whether it's on Spotify, Tidal, or even TikTok. And I will retire with the crown. Yes. No, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Yes. Clap for the heavyweight champ. Me. I got it pretty like a girl. And he got five stories to tell. I see both sides like Chanel. I see on both sides like Chanel. I was looking at you and you was looking at me. And we was thinking. Oh, well, 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 well. Go to market. Go to market. All right. This tune is in drop D flat, which just means that you take standard tuning guitar and tune down each string a half step. So that's half step down tuning. Then drop your top string down a whole step to match up with your D flat, which used to be the D string. So drop D, this is drop D, but then a half step down. Okay. so. The lick Think of it as the G minor pentatonic way up here where the root is on the 15th fret high E. You go to the B string there on the 15th fret and you're going to go all the way up to the 18th fret and back on the B string. So 15 18 15 then you roll over to the high E string. And then you go up to the 18, then 17. Put that all together. Then you repeat the first part on the B string, but then go over to the 18 on the high E then 17, then 18 on the B. So that second half, put them both together. Second half. Then you've got the main power chords, and because of the way it's in that drop D tuning, then down a half step, drop D flat, play a, a power chord with one finger. So on the fifth fret here, and make sure you're getting these top two strings. You can get the third one as well. Then we go down to the first fret. The next chord is right next door like this. The first fret and third fret, but they're playing what's called an inversion. And so what that is, is it's the index finger on that first fret of the A string. And I'm using pinky to hit that third fret D string. And then my ring finger is hitting third fret of the low string. And that's kind of a new metal sounding chord. New metal NU umlaut. Uh, finally, uh, third fret power chord. Five, one. Umlaut. 
so th those are the two kind of main parts that make up almost the entirety of the song. So there are piano chords that are good to know, uh, depending on how you're wanting to play the song. So the chords uh, are G minor, E flat major, B flat major, and then F major. And so that's like, you know, those piano pads. So over the pre-chorus, there's this little guitar part going on, and you want to grab the open G, and then the eighth fret B, and then the tenth fret high E. And so you go G, B, G, E, then B, G, B. So. to the chorus. Right at the end of the chorus, it goes into a bridge. So the last chorus would be. And less like, here's the bridge, one. So these are power chords. So it's one, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, open one, up to three, now open two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, I come so So let's do that bridge one more time. Just like There it was, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Also, big shout out to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. Uh, also, you can request any lessons that you'd like to see in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe right here to Marty Music. Thanks again, we'll see you later.